Hello and welcome to our home tech. In this video, we're going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 22.1 on a Nook. Uh, we have a Nook which we're going to install Ubuntu. I'm going to show you the process how you can install it. You can install it in any, any Windows or any desktop as well. Ubuntu is Linux based and it's very user friendly as well. So let's go. Okay, I have this Nook. Uh, this is an Intel Celeron based Nook. I have Linux um, installed, uh, downloaded, and uh, in this USB. So what I'm gonna do is all being connected to this monitor. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. So press the power button, then immediately press F10. You can see it's gonna bring up to the boot menu. So now you can see there are three options. You can, um, you know, the I'm gonna, um, install it through uh, i'm not gonna boot it through the LAN, but i'm gonna go to sc scan disk this is my usb and click enter so this will bring up this menu so you can see try or install ubuntu ubuntu safe graphics oem installed for manufacturers boot from next volume u5 form so the first thing is that we're gonna try or install ubuntu so click on that one so this is gonna take, take some time and boot depending on your speed, uh, depending on the devices that you have. So it's gonna take some time, please be patient. Once it's in the screen up, I'll show you how this goes. So now I can see that it's booting. So basically this boot, you can run Linux from this um, uh, USB as well. But now what we're gonna do, we're gonna install it once it's um, load up. Okay, once it's all loaded, it's gonna bring up this screen. So basically where you can try uh, Ubuntu, it will run as a full Ubuntu from your uh, USB or you can install Ubuntu. So I'm gonna click install Ubuntu. So this is what I want to do. I wanna install Ubuntu on this machine. So I'm gonna be selecting English UK. So choose uh, the right um, region for you. Uh, so you can here there are a couple of options you can do as a normal installation or minimal installation so normally I do in uh, minimal installation uh, just for web browser and utilities but if you do web browser utilities you can do like normal installation office softwares and everything will be installed uh, for my need uh, minimal installation just good but you know as a normal day-to-day -day user please feel free to select this one click continue Right, so in this uh, little nook, I already have, um, you know, uh, Linux Mint is installed. You can install Linux Mint and also you can Linux um, um, as, a, as a side by side. But I wanted to erase everything and install Ubuntu, right? So basically click on this one. So this will erase your all um, everything and you can install it. So I'm going to go to that option and click install now. So basically what it's gonna do now is gonna prompt you. I said, are you sure? So I'm gonna click yes. So basically this will move into the next screen. Then now you need to choose your regions. I'm in London region, so click okay. So now you need to give a username and um, you know password and what you wanna call it. So I'm gonna call um, like whatever you want. You wanna call it, so I'm gonna call IT services. Right, so you can choose a password. So yeah, it's, you can choose login automatically or you know, you can, you can join to Active Directory as well if you want. But I'm gonna uh, choose a password. So it's recommended to use a strong password. right so click continue so now it will um, copy all the files and you know uh, download it from the USB to your desktop so as I said depending on your speed of your RAM and hard drive you know it's gonna take some time uh, it will be quicker so I will update you once it's all done now you can see it says the installation is completed you need to restart the computer in order to 
use the um, uh, new insulation. So basically what you need to do in this point, just remove the Linux USB, then click restart. If you restart it, it's gonna go through and say, uh, you know, you, the USB needs to be removed. Uh, once it's completed, it's all good to go. So let's restart it. Now you can see uh, the Nook is rebooted. It's coming to the logon screen. So I'm gonna log on. There you go. So Ubuntu is installed. So I'm gonna skip that. Right, so it's ready. So it's installed, it's with minimal installation. There's no office, any other program. It's very um, small. So yeah, I would recommend um, uh, Firefox is installed uh, default, so which is very good. So let's go to about and have a look. So it's a Nook with four gig uh, RAM, so Ubuntu to 22.041 LTS. So yeah, so this is how you install um, Ubuntu on your Nook or any computer or anything. Hopefully this video is very helpful. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and also share this video and comment down below. I'd like to see another video. Thanks for watching.